Hey everybody, welcome back. So, um, I just took a really quick peek at the walkthrough and we actually, <laughs> we did things out of order. Somehow. Actually, I'm quite surprised. So, I think we need to go, unfortunately, to the dam. Well, where are we going now? We have no idea where we are. We'll just have to trust our instincts. We're on the right trail. I can feel it. However, we must keep looking. After all, we can't expect the hunters to come to us. Uh, yes we can. Uh-oh. I have a plan. Attention! I hereby declare all of you my prisoners. Paddle. <laughs> Put down your weapons and form a straight line. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good plan. We can't expect them to come to us, huh? Well, surprise, surprise. We could have wandered for days before finding the camp Wait. of the Hunters of the Dark Claw. But, but luckily, here we are. We already found it. Uh-huh. We're sitting here in a cage, held prisoner by a bunch of crazy wolves who are keeping us alive just for the pleasure of killing us later. Yeah, I'm feeling real lucky. Uh-oh. Ah, you're alive, I see. Good. Is he not upset? What is the meaning of this? Why have you attacked us? I guess I'm just a big bad wolf. <laughs> big bad wolf. That's great. Boss, you kill me. Don't tempt me. <laughs> what do you intend to do with us? You, I have no use for. When it suits me, you shall die a slow death. For my amusement. You, Fox, shall make a lovely ornament Ooh. for my wall. Or perhaps a nice rug for me to wipe my feet on. Ha! Yeah. Thanks for dropping by. Don't be strangers now. That was random. My friends, make yourselves comfortable. It appears we may be here for a while. Later that night. What? Come on, just cut the rope. <coughs> Uh-oh. <coughs> Is it the raccoon? Ah, good evening, gentlemen. At last we meet face to face. I understand you three have had quite a nasty time trying to find me. That is an understatement. Don't worry. These wolves will not harm you in any way. That's good. Until I tell them to. Uh-oh, that's bad. For now, let's have a nice chat. Uh, who are you? What will you do with us? Do you have the ore? Perhaps you'd be so kind to leave us? Yeah, we've been searching forever for you, so go away. Who are you? Oh, forgive me. My manners are atrocious. My name is Chota. How do you do? Not well, thank you. Yes, I'm afraid it looks that way. You are a long way from the rest of your tribe. My tribe? I have no tribe. I learned long ago that I am... Uh, different. What? That doesn't make sense. I mean, you had to have been born from some raccoons. I mean, unless, I don't know, you're something else because I've been watching too much Trigun. <laughs> what do you intend to do with us? Well, I obviously cannot allow you to interfere with my plans. Therefore, I can either hold you in this cell, which I am sure you would find most distasteful, or I could simply kill you, which you would probably like even less. <laughs> You call those choices? I give you until tomorrow morning to decide your fate. May I suggest hanging? <laughs> it's quick and ever so much less messy than beheading. <laughs> I don't understand this. We have a boar and an elk. How come one of them just can't ram down the, the bars? I mean, they look like they're wooden. And then rope is holding it shut. I can just gnaw through the rope. <laughs> What's the problem here? Tell me, Chota, the Orb of Storms. Is it in your possession? Oh my, yes. I have it all right, and I intend to keep it. Why? So what if you can predict the weather? You are only one raccoon. There's only so much you can plant and harvest. Ah, my friend, you're not seeing the big picture. You see, the Orb of Storms is only a small part of a much larger force. 
a force which will enable me to actually control the weather. That would make sense. What? It's true. Can you imagine? It will rain as long as I say it will, and it will stop when I say. It will be blazing hot or freezing cold at my pleasure. Floods or droughts at my command. And what will determine which weather you create? Why, the will of the people, of course. I am their servant. Naturally, they will elect me their governor. What? And what happens if the tribes do not elect you? Ah, then I'm afraid I'll have to take rather drastic measures. But fear not. As their governor, I shall put a stop to all of their silly arguing and squawking. There will be peace and goodwill. Or else the people die? You obviously have no appreciation for my plans. So, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense that there could the humans could have gotten to the point where they were so technologically advanced they could create weather conditions. But why governor? Why not, like, dictator or something? <laughs> governor doesn't seem very impressive. I'm going to be governor of the world. Since we can't seem to agree on these matters, perhaps you would be so kind as to leave us. I shall do so, but I will be back tomorrow. Meantime, sleep well, my friends, in preparation for the sleep eternal. <laughs> Whoa, that was quick. Quiet! It is I, Shiala. I've come to free you. Why? And not a moment too soon. How did you know where to find us? I knew you would wind up here eventually. You were no match for these wolves. It's nice to know we inspire such confidence. Uh, there. I've cut the binds on the cage. You must hurry. The Dark Claw are out hunting now, but they will return before long. Okay. This doesn't... <laughs> Why is she saving us? Um... Uh, hmm. Is there anything in here? What do you guys think about this? I hate it when we're trying to get away, and you just want to talk. <laughs> I think it's time to escape. All right, fine. Let's go. I'm guessing this is when I would probably take the trophy, not go. So I think what was supposed to happen is I was supposed to go straight to the waterfall and then go to the dam, and I went the wrong way, so I did everything out of order. But, the nice thing is... Where was that seaside cliff? It was around here somewhere. Right? Or... Am I at a different... Wait... Uh... <laughs> I thought I swore the cliff was right next to the camp! I guess it's not? There it is. So, I'm hoping that all I need is the cable. Let's just use... Sp oh, okay, just use the cable. Oh, okay, that works too! What is it? I'm not sure. It's very thin and flat, and it bends. Oh, good! We needed one of those! You know it. All right. Walk, walk to the wilderness. So... Okay, I don't know which way is faster, honestly, so I'm just gonna keep going this way. We need to go back to the airport. Why did she save us? It doesn't even make sense. We actually didn't do anything to help her besides peek at her when she was taking a shower in the waterfall. Alrighty. Well, maybe I should go back to the waterfall to see if she's there. Alright, I think we need to go down here. I don't remember which building it was. It might have actually just been this first one. Let's 
save. Use key card with glowing lights. Something clicked. Ooh, fancy. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Helper's laughing at me. Another maze! Another maze! No! <laughs> this better not be. Please tell me it's just a bunch of random hall. No! <laughs> I'm just gonna wander aimlessly for a minute just to be sure that this maybe this isn't a maze maybe it's just a bunch of short hallways and maybe it's just a bunch of short hallways all right well at least so far I haven't had to diverge again come on how big is this building what did, what was the purpose for all these hallways uh, it's the land of endless. Whoa, no! Uh, one second. Okay, so it looks like this is a maze. Um, I'm just gonna leave. Actually, there was one thing I did miss, and I don't know if it's important in or out of order because I can't tell. I actually have two different walkthroughs and but they both seem to suggest that the characters have to notice something before they'll do something later on so I want to go ahead and do this now just in case it becomes important at the end of this maze you know it's funny I actually said it before I went to the airport maybe I should go see if the wolf is the, the waterfall so I could thank her I think I said something that I at least thought it and I really should have done it apparently so now she's not blocking whatever this is, so let's come in here. Come on. Oh! She's this vegetarian. This must be where Shiala lives! It's pretty. Amazing. Who would ever think of looking here? No one. That seems to be the whole point. What are you doing here? We only entered this grotto out of curiosity. We meant no disrespect and certainly no harm. Had I wished to hit you, I would have. That was merely to get your attention. She must like us. Now tell me, what is it you're here to learn? Well, let's talk to a everyone. vegetable garden? For a wolf? She must certainly value her privacy to hide like this. A wolf that eats vegetables? Amazing! Excuse me. No, I just want to look at it. This must be where that she-wolf sleeps. What is this? I do not know. It is a type of rock I have never seen before. Sometimes I hear strange noises coming from behind it. And what is this triangle-shaped depression? Perhaps some artwork. Not very interesting, though. Ooh, I have a piece of flint. I can't figure oh, out how okay. to use it. Let's just talk to her. Of which pack are you a member? Tell us about the hunters of the Dark Claw. Have you heard of the raccoon? Is that your own vegetable garden? Yeah, let's ask her that first. Is that your own vegetable garden? So, what of it? This is my lair, my lifestyle. Of course, some of my best friends are herbivores. I'm no herbivore. It's just that I like vegetables. What's wrong with herbivores? I've been one all my life. Plants? Creatures? I can eat either way. Enough! I'll eat what I choose, that's all. Wow, Indeed, she... an admirable ambition. She's being really confrontational about this. Of which pack are you a member? I belong to no pack. I belong only to myself. I was born of the forest wolves. A group of wolves broke away from the pack to form their own group. They promised freedom from pack responsibilities and a new and better way of life. My parents left the pack to go with them and took me along. And was it better? It was fine at first. Then the power struggles began. There were disagreements, fights, and finally, bloodshed. 
One wolf, the strongest and most vicious, assumed leadership, and all who opposed him were killed, including my parents. May I assume this new leader's name was Gar? That's right. When I ran away from the hunters, Gar swore revenge upon me. He told the forest wolves that if I was given shelter or helped in any way, he would burn their villages to the ground. So I became a fugitive. Wow, again, that makes no sense. I mean, she was just a cub, it sounds like, when the whole thing happened. And why would you go- I'm gonna make a new pack full of no responsibilities. It doesn't- <sighs> I don't understand. Tell us about the Hunters of the Dark Claw. They are sadistic bullies who live to kill and enslave. They are totally without honor, and a blight on the name of Wolf. But they are very successful, and must have spies everywhere. This Gar must be a clever leader. That is part of the puzzle. Gar is a stupid brute. They are all stupid brutes. I cannot understand why they've been so successful unless, unless... Unless there is someone behind Gar. Exactly. But no one has ever been able to find out who. The raccoon? It's gotta be the raccoon. Hmm. Tell us about Ooh. the hunt. They are sedated. They Sorry. Are, but they are the that. They yeah, I'm walk around because we can't just stand and talk. We've got to dance about. Do you know anything about a raccoon? There are rumors in the forest of an evil spirit which has taken the form of a raccoon. Evil spirit? Bah! We do not believe in spirits. Then you do not believe in life. All nature is but spirit which has taken form. Some for good, some for evil. But you have never seen this raccoon. I have not. But I don't have to see it to feel its presence. Something evil is out there. I know it. Hmm, interesting. Please forgive our intrusion. We will leave now if you wish. Perhaps it is I who should ask your pardon for my hasty reaction. You are not my enemy. You may stay and look around if you wish. Okay, so... I'll be right here if you need anything. I think we were just supposed to chat with her and look at this door. Um, but let's head back to the maze! Oh. Okay. Doop -doop -boo. To the maze! Again! Why why on earth would they build an airport with an underground maze? That's what I'm gonna build. That's what I'm gonna use all my stuff on whenever I build a structure next to me. Let's make sure we put a maze underneath it. I should do that on my Harvest Moon game. I should build a giant maze to get into my farm. See how they like them apples. So every time someone visits me, they have to go through this really long, obnoxious maze. Something clicked. Something clicked. Alright. Who's it? Maybe Dungeon Man from Earthbound got loose. Alright. North. Left. Oh, did I actually go the right way the first time out of total coincidence? Left. Right. North. Right. North. Right. Wow, I actually was kind of on the right track and then I just need to go right here. Oh, hello. Cus custodian. Okay. Some graffiti artist named Custodian was here. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Let's go. Are you sure this is the right way? Okay, I guess they're running out of things to say by this point. Oh, strange machine. Looks like a writing desk with machinery in it. What's this? A strange metallic triangle. Hmm, I wonder what it is. 
It's much too- I didn't mean to pick up the desk, I meant to pick up the triangular device. It's a metallic triangle with some jewel-like decorations. It seems like there's a part missing. Interesting. What a strange creature. Probably somebody's pet. <laughs> See, I guess he doesn't know what a human looks like. Looks like some kind of black glass. Looks like a rock. Okay. It's still daylight outside. Okie dokie. Okay, so we want to go south. Okay, so we want to go north. North. Oh my gosh. This. <laughs> right. Sorry. This is like a really long string of characters, so I'm trying to make sure I keep my eye on where I am. Right. Right. Left. Right. go the wrong way oh my gosh I'm so <laughs> uh oh I might be lost um okay uh oh Let's just try going right. Unfortunately, yeah. You know, I'm thinking of just pausing until I get out of the maze because I don't, according to this, we're just trying to leave. So, um, if I don't get out of here in a couple, if I, if I get to another intersection, I'll just pause the video until I get out. That's the one good thing about this maze, is it seems like there's not too many wrong ways you can go. It's just... a million really long hallways. <sighs> this is what I get for not... I was trying really hard to follow the walkthrough and it just- I got so lost. Because it's just a string of R N R L R N N N R L, and I'm like, ugh. Yeah, I think I'm lost. <laughs> Oops. Alright, hold on. Okay, so it was funny, I was just telling Helper, I think I'm just gonna wander aimlessly until. <laughs> until I, uh. Oops, sorry, I closed the walkthrough. Um, until I found my way out, and two screens later I found my way out. Woof, that was lucky. Alrighty. I keep forgetting that stuff doesn't just disappear when I minimize stuff on my computer. It has to do that swooshy thing, so it goes in front of the recording. Alright, um, I guess seems like a good spot to stop, because... I don't know what we're going to find behind the triangle door, so I guess I'll stop here and we'll see you guys next time when... Or I'll see you. I don't know why I said we. The royal we will see you next time when we go and invade that wolf's lair again. Bye for now.